first try. I was actually like the fifth try. <laughs> try to put the camera trap up on it. So I got the camera trap. It's got two PIR motion detectors. It's gonna detect, I don't know, critters around this big or so moving in front of it. It's like the thing in your garage door that lets it know to turn on the light if someone's walking by. Um, but I hacked into this 360 degree camera and I attached these motion detectors to it um, that are controlled by this little Arduino here. The Arduino has its own little battery pack that's back in there. And the goal is anytime something moves in front of it, um, I can activate it. But whenever things start moving in front of it, it will trigger and it'll take a 360 degree picture. So camera traps already exist. Um, and there are some 360 degree camera traps, but I'm trying to make a nice quick DIY one. Um, so I really just hacked into the buttons themselves. So this Arduino here can just have complete control, take over this entire thing. And you have to mount camera traps a little bit differently if they're 360. Normally you would just put it up against a tree and have it face out, but you want the full 360 experience. So. Camera trap, did you, Mr. Monitor Wizard? Right now, I'm gonna send this up into the canopy. I shot this water bottle up over this branch going up into the forest, and I'm gonna pull it up there and let things go by it, uh, and just get kind of 360 panorama that you can use in like virtual reality or whatever. But the cool thing is, with a 360 degree point of view um, with your camera trap, you don't have to worry about like, oh, I need to face the camera this way or else it won't catch the snow leopard that's walking by here. Um, so you don't have to worry about the animal passing the blind spot since there really is no blind spot. But the way that you mount it is how you get rid of whatever blind spot may be. <laughs> right, let's give this a try. Another nice thing is regular camera traps, you can't just send up hanging and dangling in the middle of the forest because they need a specific orientation. You need to know which way it's pointing. This thing, we don't care which way it's pointing. It just needs to be in a space. So I can just tie it up, make sure it's armed. Are you armed yet? Yeah, there we go, it's armed. And then I can just go send this puppy right up there. I'm gonna tuck this string away so it doesn't get in the field, mess with my field of view. Nice little sliding knot. So you can see it's taking pictures of me while I do all this movement. But in theory, once it's up there, it should be pretty still. Climbing a tree. 